Today me and my friends are going to discuss on match syllabus for matriculation on chapter 3 that is numerical method. So I hope you all enjoy and find this topic easy after this. So that the equation x e to the power of x minus 1 equals to 0 has a root in the interval 0 to 1. Graphically, verify that this is the only real root of the equation. Determine the root using newton repson method. Okay, I believe that you all actually understood the question very well. So now let us see how my friend's gonna answer this question. Hi guys, I'm going to solve the question now. So this is a question that cannot be solved actually. So we are using our newton jepson method to solve this question. So we have to find the real truth of the question. Actually, it's between 0 and 1. So first, um, fx equals to x exponent x minus 1. So fx equals to 0. So x exponent x minus 1 equals to 0. x ex equals to 1. ex equals to 1 over. Sorry. 1 over x. So we got two functions now. So we have to separate the two functions. fx equals to ex. Another one. gx equals to 1 over x. So before we find the real root, we need uh, we need to sketch a graph as a guardian. So before that, we have to verify whether this is, uh, 0 and 1 are the real roots of the equation or not. So for that, we have to substitute 0 and 1 in this equation, the main equation. So, we have to conclude the question since the f and f1 f of the same sign So now we are going to sketch the graph. Draw the axis first. First uh, equation is exponent. So y is 2 in x. Other one is reciprocal 1 over x. y is 2 1 over x. So this is the intersection point. So we don't know the real uh, the initial approximate value. So we just uh, Assume that the value is between 0 and 1. So it will be 0 0.5. So our initial approximate value will be 0 0.5. Okay, according to what our friend has done, it's um, correct here. Yeah? But maybe I would like to just give further explanation on this. So if there's an equation, a function which cannot be solved, for an example, this function, it looks complex, which is x e to the power of x minus 1 equals to 0. So it's better for us to actually split the function into two, which we can actually um, name it as fx, gx or something for us to draw the graph. Okay, but before that, the question is actually asking us to actually prove that the root is in the interval of 0 and 1. To prove whether the root is between this range is 0 and 1, we must ensure that the both functions, one should produce below 0, another function should be above more than 0. Only then we will know that the function has got an interception. It's a continuous function between um, 0 to 1 for an example like this. So from here we can actually know that it is true the root is between 0 and 1 versus that we don't know the exact value of it for this complex function. So once we have actually proven, now it is always the best way to sketch the graph first in order for us to find the other values of x through iterative process 
which means X2, X3, X4 and this can only be done by using newton raphson method. It actually has its own special formula for it. So this is actually the correct graph for it in which can you see there's only one intersection point. So this should be between 0 to 1 and it's proven is there is no actually 2 or 3 intersection points. Okay, hello people. Now I'm going to solve the second part of this question, which is to determine the root using Newton Raphson method. So the general formula for Newton Raphson method is x n plus 1 equal to x n plus f x over f prime x. Okay. Now uh, since okay, my approximate uh, value for x not is 0 0.5. So x naught is 1, so I want to find the x2 equal to xn is 0. 0.5 plus the fx is x exponent to the power x negative 1 over the okay before that we have to differentiate the fx okay the differentiation is <coughs> x e x plus exponent to the power of x okay now, uh, you have to use the calculator to find the solution of this. Okay, now we substitute the 0 0.5 into the, this x since this is the same. Okay, x2 equal to 0 0.5 plus x 0 0.5 exponent to 0 0.5 minus 1 over 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus exponent 0 0.5. Okay, now we we can find the answer to the uh, calculation from the calculator. We got <coughs> x2 equal to 0 0.57102 and x3 equal to 0 0.56716. Okay, x5 equal to 0 0.56714. Since this, uh, the last two have the, uh, the same answer, so we take that as an as a answer and we choose uh, the four significant figures or three significant figures. I'm okay. going to teach you how to solve the Newton Raster method by using calculator. Okay, firstly, you have to press this to get x, alpha x, then minus and press this button. Okay, now you substitute the x, alpha x. Then shift exponent to the power alpha x. Then okay, put it down. Press this button minus one. Okay, now you're going to the denominator, which is which is uh, we substitute the value of the differential equation, which is alpha x shift exponent to the power alpha x plus okay for that drag it down plus shift exponent to the alpha x okay now you are completing the general equation from the uh, question number one so you may but press this button calculate okay calculate and substitute the x naught you get okay from the first question we got x naught equal to 0 0.5 and press this button equal okay you got the first answer which is x2 and then continue with Press this button, calculate, calculate, answer. And this is your x3. And continue with press this button, calculate, answer. And this is your x4. Okay. Okay, what my friend Fatini has done is correct. But I would like to elaborate more on this point. Okay, the second part is determine the root using Newton Epson method. And this is the correct formula, and this is actually something that we should know. This is Newton Epson method to actually find the next values of x. So the more the values of x which we get, the closer the decimal places will be the values that we get. So when the values are closest, that means we actually know that that is the um, root for this function. So applying Newton Epson method, it's better for her to not substitute first to show the um, function, which is x, right? x1, which I can also name it as my initial value of x, which is 0 0.5, which I'll substitute in later. So this is another part where we should actually show all the substituted um, answers and these are all the values of x and it is better for us to actually apply this method for two methods, I mean to find two process of x which is x2 and x3. Then the 
proceeding answers, we can actually just use a calculator. So this is the answer, correct? But since the question did not give how many decimal places they want, so it is better for us to give the answer within three to four decimal places. And based on all the answers, we can actually see that X4 and X5 are closely related and this is going to be our answer. So we should finally conclude that the value of X for this function is 0 0.5671. In this case, I'm giving it in four decimal places. So this is the answer, the root of the function. the graph of y equals to sine x and y equals to x minus 4 on the same diagram. From the diagram, find an approximate root for the equation sine x minus x plus 4 equals to 0. By using this value as first approximation, use newton repson method to find the root correct to 4 decimal places. Hi friends, okay today uh, we were given the we were given two equations which is y equal to sine x and y equal to x minus 4. So we need to sketch the graph of the equation given on the same diagram. So firstly, we need to sketch the axis first, which is y axis and x axis. Okay, this is my x axis and this is my y axis. Okay, for the first equation, which is y equal to sine x, uh, the graph will be like this. Our second equation, which is y equal to x minus 4. So we need to plot it on the same diagram, right? So firstly, we need to plot the y-intercept, which is negative 4. So we plot it here, negative 4. And then see, see it is the linear equation, so we need to draw a straight line. Okay, so a straight line, like this. Okay, now we can, we can see the interception between this line. Okay, and uh, from this, we can find our approximate root, which is 3.5. I would like to say 3.5 because uh, here is a pi uh, that shows 3.413 and this is 4. Since the approximate value is 3.5, so our initial root will be 3.5. So now we are going to do newton repson method. Our fx will be sine x minus x plus 4. So when we differentiate it, we will get cos x minus 1. So by using newton repson method, we will be getting our x2 equals to x1 minus fx over f prime. So our x2 would be 3.5 minus sine 3.5 minus 3.5 plus 4 over cos 3.5 minus 1. So we will use our calculator to calculate the answers. The answer for this will be 3.577706 Continue with this answer, we will get x3 equals to 3.57764 And x4 is 3.57764 Since x3 and x4 have the same value, so we can conclude that x equals to 3.5776 Since the question asks us to give 4 decimal places, so this will be the answer. Okay, based on our second question, we just sketch the graph of y equals to sine x and y equals to x minus 4 on the same diagram. As what my friend has done, it's correct. On the same diagram means it's only on one axis, which is um, a graph which has x and also y axis. And she has actually um, sketched both which is y equals sine x and y equals x minus 4. But one thing that we actually tell everyone to do is that we should actually label the um, our sketching here. So for example, this is our linear graph. So y equals to x minus 4 and this is y equals to sine x. And from here we can actually see that there's only one intersection point here 
which is between pi and 4. So she has actually assumed that her first initial approximate value is 3.5. And so my other friend, she has actually continued using this initial approximate value by iterative process to find all the values of x. And since the question states that you only want it in four decimal places, she has actually um, done until x4, where she has actually seen the similarity between these two answers. And so this will be the best answer to this question. So I hope you find this question easy to be solved now after watching this video.